What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only Africa game. A few more wars going on than there was at the start of the last episode. We've got Babylon. Slowly, they've already taken one city from Arabia. I don't know whether they're going to keep going. It's a few tiles away. It's going to be a while before we see any more cities falling in that one, if there are going to be any. Rhodesia and Zimbabwe is a bit of a mixed conflict. It looks like it's going to probably end up in a stalemate, although saying that, Zimbabwe seem to now be pushing for this city, which might be the better idea. Maybe we'll see them do well. The question is, will, there's still time, will someone like Burundi attack Rhodesia? Will Congo get involved? That will really change things um, at the moment. West Africa is staying very peaceful again at the moment. These guys have been pretty chill with each other for the most part, except the Ashanti. They didn't have a good time. And obviously Mali did fight Nigeria for a little while. But apart from that, they've been pretty, pretty comfortable with each other. And obviously there's also Greece versus Austria, the other major event going on right now. And we've also got our two ideologies starter ones so far. We've got Autocratic Zimbabwe and right next to them Order for Rhodesia. So we'll see how that plays out and where other people joining in go. Because that can obviously play a big part in the future as to who goes where. Austria, why are your units so far to the east? It's just out of interest. Why are they over here, not over here, holding back Greece? Don't know, maybe their plans to let them in a little bit and then crush them again. I don't know, but they've been doing pretty well. This part of Greece all of a sudden now isn't looking so full. I mean, there's a lot of units up here in the north, but Rome, maybe considering their chances more and more as more Greek units try and push into Austria and fail. I really hope Austria is not, like, planning to attack somebody, though. That wouldn't go too well. <laughs> Just, just go over here and attack the Huns instead. Like, yeah, we don't need, we don't need this stuff. Don't worry about it. Just, just move. Um, you guys, uh, Khazar, you've had. I, I haven't really talked about the Khazar and the fact they're still alive, but this is quite depressing. I mean, the Huns aren't even strong enough to kill them off. That's how sad it is that for these two up here in the northeast corner of the map. It's very de depressing on both sides. But Babylon, yep, they are beginning the push for the second city. And they've got enough units, but they've got to keep an eye out. Because now Egypt seems to be sending units over the Suez Canal into the peninsula. I think we might see Egypt and Assyria in a joint war against Babylon. Maybe break out in the next couple of turns. That wouldn't surprise me. Let's see. Morocco, Greece go first. Let's go have a look what they do. I wonder if they're going to push in. Because obviously Austria's left them some space this time. Nope, they seem to be reconsolidating. Is Assyria. Maybe it'll be... Oh, maybe they might give Egypt one more turn. Or maybe Egypt... Oh, it does look like they're moving. I think we might see Assyria and Egypt teaming up against Babylon. And this could be bad for Babylon. Despite finally doing the right thing. And getting... Well, not the right... I don't know. But finally doing something. And making it interesting. It seems it's going to lead to their demise. So sometimes it is better to just do nothing. You know? Rwanda. I know people want to see Rwanda do more. But they can't really do anything right now. To be fair to them, <laughs> I don't know what you would expect Rwanda to do anymore. Like they kind of need, they need to like just sort of steal a city away that someone else has put in the red. If they're going to get any luck, if they get any luck, Egypt hasn't attacked this turn. I don't know if it's been their turn. Babylon is just committing more units though towards Arabia. So up here it's very exposed over here. There's not even a road yet, so they could really suffer. It's Egypt's turn now, and it's not broken out just yet. So, um, probably have to wait another, another turn before anything does happen. Probably. Probably. You never know. It could happen, like, right now. Well, no, it's going to have to be another turn. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I on about? Oman denounced Nigeria. You in a position to do that, Oman? Really? World religion Shinta. Oh, yeah, I put that. I was going to say, who put that? But <laughs> it was me. There we go. It's just been ages ago. That was so long ago. It's, kind of, it's only coming up now. World's Congress really isn't that useful at the start. I completely forgot. The game is really starting to slow down. I thought I'd just let you know I am aware of this. <laughs> we aren't getting through half as many turns as we were. I think this will be the slowest campaign. We normally always go to 400. That's like the aim point. That might be a challenge this time around. Might be more like 350. I don't know. But we'll see. So obviously, I do want to play Civ 6 soon as well. So I'm going to try and squeeze it all in. I'm not really sure how that's going to fit in, because that's not that far away, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. It will. We, we won't miss out. Okay, Rhodesia now have a clean shot at some Zimbabwe cities, but Zimbabwe are trying over here. If they can take this first and get a peace deal, that's the aim. But the problem is it's probably just going to be 
one city switching hands in each direction, which is the problem. Like Zimbabwe, there was a time, I think you, was it Zimbabwe that had all the money? If it was them that have all the money, now is the time to pay Burundi to join in. There's, there's never been a better time to do that than now. Just get them involved. Okay, Babylon, how are you doing? How are you doing? It's looking okay. Egypt seems to have moved back a little bit. Ah, okay, Zimbabwe's dead. Finally, Shaka has given up on waiting. He attacks Zimbabwe. I think we're going to see Zimbabwe collapse here, and out of it, we're probably going to see a very strong Rhodesia and a very strong Zulu too, or an, at least an emerging Zulu. But then again, they'll still be trapped behind in Rhodesia after that. But yeah, I, I doubt we'll see them completely disappear, unless Congo, even Congo, couldn't help that much. They did settle over here though, the Zulu. They're still settling. Shaq is still doing his thing. He, in the end, brought the settler back and settled down here, but he's now got a fourth one, ready. Probably to go to the northeast of Madagascar. And that will be it for Madagascan settling. At least, it's probably where we're going to see Zimbabwe exiled to at the end of this game. If this doesn't... I mean, they might win, but it's unlikely. It's very unlikely that they're going to survive this, I feel now. The Zulu have a lot of units. I mean, the Impies aren't... Probably aren't the best tech-wise. They probably should have upgraded them by now. But, you know, the Zulu have a lot of stuff. Like, either way, they have a lot. And if they all just focus on one city at a time... They can very quickly take quite a bit of land and do pretty well. So that's good to see. The Zulu finally doing it. I know. I'm just excited because they haven't really done... I've wanted to see it for so long. It's just good to see it. Babylon trying their best. And it's also, we haven't seen a strong Zulu in one of my AI only games for a while. So that's, you know, the Zulu usually do pretty well. So and Rhodesia have been ruining them recently. Doing a lot better than them. So it'll be good to see the Zulu do quite well. Yeah, it doesn't look like this might happen anymore. Assyria's fallen back too. Maybe they're eyeing up the Ottomans a bit more. Looks like potentially going westwards instead of to the east. Babylon do have some riflemen. <laughs> Just emerged. Most wonders. Rhodesia have five. There's going to be three up for grabs if Zimbabwe does start dropping. Austria. Okay, Greece is making more of... Austria, why did you fall back? I have no... I don't understand this. And now... Okay, Austria's dead. I'm pretty sure Austria is done. I don't know why they moved all their units over here. Dumbest AI decision ever. Probably. Probably up there. Probably an award for this. But yeah, Greece is definitely going to tear into them here. I don't know why they moved back. But well done, AI. You gave Greece a lifeline. I mean, they might still fight through now and just do Greece more damage. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a... Maybe it's going to be like a suicide pact sort of thing with Austria, the plan is just destroy all of Greece's units, even if it destroys all of their own, and then Rome will come in and save them. Even though Rome probably aren't on good terms with Austria. I don't know why, just an assumption I'm making about stuff that's happened in the past, potentially. Maybe. Who knows. You guys going to do anything yet? None of you three really want to do anything, do you? You just don't want to be part of this world. And that includes you, Rome. You haven't done anything in like since like episode two or three um you four do stuff come on get going start you're not going to win by doing nothing i can guarantee you that much okay well zimbabwe seems to have given up and now they're doing nothing i mean the zulu are already making a lot of progress over here and the, over here as well so they're probably going to take two cities rhodesia are making progress too and zimbabwe are just sort of wandering around now I don't think the AI knows what to do. Congo, all of a sudden, built quite a big army over here. It was very spread out, but they seem to have come together again. They have a lot of stuff off the east coast, though. I don't know what it's doing, but it is all over here. Keep an eye on that. Oh, the Zulu also are fighting on Madagascar. That's that was impressive. <laughs> that they they got that they got that going pretty quickly. I didn't notice that a minute ago, but um, yeah, they're already making some progress over there. Third ideology and Mali. Joining Rhodesia in going for order, and Mali are doing pretty well to get up there. I mean, they look pretty empty, but they do have a ton of units over here, so they should... They, I don't know what they're doing, what they're waiting for. Maybe they just feel that safe from the Songhai, that they can afford to leave units over there. Maybe that's maybe that's the case. Who knows? Who knows what it is? Um, Rhodesian Caravan. How is everything? Burundi, I really want to see you do well. I don't know why, you just, you appeal to me. Do stuff, come on, this is your chance. Attack Rhodesia, just make this war even more interesting. No, I don't have anything against Rhodesia. 
Is it, oh, okay, Matt. <laughs> Take me up there then. Okay, Babylon. I was worried for Babylon, but they're not really making much progress over here either, so... Hopefully they don't destroy that whole army, because that would leave them very exposed. At the same time, Assyria not really doing anything, so... We should be safe. I don't think they can make their mind up. They're like, mm, Ottomans, mm, Babylon, meh, yeah, meh. Yeah. I think as Babylon continue to lose units, their mind might be made up pretty soon. Okay, let's see how Austria are doing. Yep, there's battling, and none of the sieges have begun yet, so I think Austria are probably going to be safe here. I think they're going to just about have enough. Like, they're trying to protect... I think this might... I mean, it seems like a dumb idea. Maybe they're going to protect their units. Maybe it's going to work out. I don't know. Either way, it's been weird. That's Greek crossbowmen trying to escape. The Lancer jumped into the sea, where I imagine this caravel and frigate. Yep, we'll kill it. Good. That was pretty... I don't know if that was smart or just luck or just another dumb decision from Greece this time, but... That's pretty interesting. Okay, Zimbabwe, you know, they're not trying to defend their capital. Well, they're trying to defend their capital, but they're going to lose some big cities in the process. Fourth ideology, and that is Congo joining Zimbabwe for autocracy. Rhodesia, you better watch out, because autocracy for Congo joining Zimbabwe. That's pretty worrying. Could go pretty badly for you guys. In the future, um, we'll see what... See what comes out. Rhodesia need. I think Rhodesia have got to get out of this because both Burundi and Congo are arming up, looking pretty strong. Zulu obviously can keep going, and they're probably going to grab at least one city. Although Zimbabwe is trying to defend it, so we'll see how that goes for them. In just a second, let's see what the Mazai are up to. Because you know they're my pick. They're, not, they're, they're just chill, the Mazai. They seem they haven't actually taken any cities in any wars. I just thought I'd point that out. You know, I'm going for a peaceful winner for this game, hopefully. Um, although they have been at war, but they haven't taken any cities, you know, which I think suggests something else. Not that they're nice and peaceful, but that they're, they're not very good. But, you know, they settled a lot, and I just like this cool Horn of Africa coated in red. It looks very nice. Um, let's see, Rhodesia's turn. Oh, they're so close. Next turn, then, we'll probably see them grab this, but like I said, Congo is starting to look scary. Zulu should take over Zimbabwe's southernmost city here next turn as well Austria are just yeah they're gonna be fine Austria they are gonna pull through here pretty well and if there was a chance for Rome to finally try and take and if I was gonna say if I was Rome I'd try and take Corinth and then the Halicarnassus here connect your stuff first and then Greece should be pretty easy to finish off after that once you've split them in half I was saying that Greece has split Rome in half and it's not necessarily been the case has it now Egypt you doing anything? You doing anything, Egypt? Doesn't look like it. They're just staying. They're just they're, they're pondering something too. They keep they're like Assyria. They're moving between attacking Babylon and Mercuria. Mercuria's rebuilt pretty well, although down here in the south is empty. But they are building roads, which is good news. I don't want to make a proposal. But anyway, that is it for this video. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.